Hello, welcome back. And in this video we're going to be looking at mobile phone charging solutions. Um, you're thinking, probably what a boring topic. How many times have you been caught short with your phone battery and it's gone flat? So in this video we shall be looking at various tweaks you can do to your Android phone to preserve the battery life. Um, and also show you a few gadgets. Well let's get on to gadgets first. I like my gadgets. This is one. Um, designed by, I think, a Japanese student called Yumin Choi, I think he's called. Don't quote me on that, my memory's quite bad, it's called getting old. Um, this device is a foldable USB charger. It wasn't a cheap per purchase, it's about £25, so in my view it's probably £10 too expensive for what it is. But it's the only one on the market which actually folds down. Um, and what you basically do here, fold that apart like that, it's a bit like unfolding some woman's sanitary towel, but there you go, um, twist that, there's your plug. On the back we have standard USB connector charge to charge your USB devices. Um, it will charge any phone or device which uses a USB cable. Um, and what's fantastic about it for me, I think, you can easily fit it in a shirt pocket or a trouser pocket. Obviously, a standard um, UK plug, if you were to get with like that, you charge, you carry around, end up poking you in the leg or scratching anything in your bag. So that's brilliant. But if you're going to buy one, I'd say it's a great product, apart from the price tag, as I've mentioned. So there you go, that is the Moo Folding Plug, which is available from themoo.co.uk. £25 and I think about a pound of postage and packaging. The next product is this. Now Aventry do a similar product to this. Aventry is spelled A-V-A-N-T-R-E-E. -E. Um, uh, the, the actual uh, one I ordered was supposed to be an Av a Aventry product, the same as this, but they've sent me this out instead which is identical to the Aventry product. Uh, what this basically is, sits on your keys, your car keys, um, and has the thing apart. standard USB, micro USB. Obviously that goes in your computer, that goes in your phone. What does it do? Charges your phone and also acts as a data cable if you want to exchange data between your computer and, and phone, which is quite handy. Main um, you, um, things you might find useful about this is, for instance, if you went to a public library, you could charge your phone up. Obviously, this you're always going to have on your keys. Works great with this as well, the move folding plug. Obviously, what I would do here. Plug that into there, that into the phone, that into the wall, charges up. Obviously it's not intended for the Moo plug but it will work with it, it's just a standard USB connector. Um, great product, cost you about £7. This one particular one is by phone range but Aventry do a similar one as well. Don't ask me on these products by the way, I don't sell them, I'm only really doing reviews. Um, the actual finish of this is kind of a rubber finish, so obviously like, um, there's a few other de like these on the market. I think, um, there's one more, I can't remember the name of it, which is plastic, but as this is rubber, it's not going to become brittle or break easily, and it's going to wear well on your keys, so that is a great product. And so that's available from mobilefun.co.uk, price £7. Right, our next product an external battery charger with a micro USB connector on the end. How many times have you been caught short with your mobile phone? Your phone's gone flat. Well, this device takes four AA sized batteries. It will charge a complete dead phone from, what uh, uh, if your battery is dead, from dead to full charge. In about, I think it's about five hour charge time. 
battery wise you really want to make sure you're using good quality nickel metal hydrides with this product um, I use a set of Energizer 2500 milliamp batteries which I charge up in my battery charger now the advantage of this product over anything else on the market in my view is because a lot of these emergency mobile fan chargers have like a inbuilt lithium ion battery once that goes flat and you're, you're on a camping holiday you would not be able to charge your phone up again unless you could find a power socket to recharge the charger with this all you do take some nickel metal hydride batteries on, on your camping holiday with you once those goes flat, you can shove some normal, decent Duracell batteries in, in here. It won't be cheap, but it will charge the phone from flat to full charge in about five hours. On the side, there's an on-off switch. Or as I say, you just connect it up, that end of the phone, switch it on. LED illuminates. Within five hours, you've got a fully charged phone. Fantastic product. Price, this was just under a £10.00. Available from these guys, system-s.com, and I got that off Amazon. Obviously, everyone knows about these car charger, HTC. I've got this one from Hong Kong for about a fiver, just as good as what you would normally get in an expensive phone shop. Um, as I say, all great charging solutions. Out of all the ones I've reviewed here, Fantastic product if you're ever caught short, and of the external battery charger there, handy for camping. Right, we're now going to be looking at ways of saving power on your Android phone. I do apologise about my zebra finches in the background, they're driving you nuts, then you'll have to put up with it. Um, Android phones, number of ways of saving battery power on them. I can't show you my phone at the moment because I'm using it to film. But what you would normally do to preserve the battery, step one, turn off vibrate. Anytime you have a, have a text or phone call, the phone vibrates, uses a lot of power, turn it off. Most HTC phones and similar phones will have a notification LED. This LED flashes every time you have a phone call or a text. Turn it off. Don't want it, because that's going to drain your battery as well. Um, the next thing you can do to preserve the battery, screen brightness. Now on my HTC there's a uh, settings widget which I've put on my screen. I've got one widget to um, adjust the, the screen brightness for three levels of brightness. Obviously if I'm out in the open I would be using full brightness so I can see it at the screen in sunlight. For indoors you have it on a low setting. Um, I've got two other widgets I've put on my home screen. One is for turning my mobile internet on, on and off. The other is for turning the Wi-Fi on and off. And the other for turning off on and off the GPS. Again, those are all things you can do to preserve the battery. The final solution to getting good power out of your phone's battery is probably to use something like Juice Defender, if you have an Android phone. Uh, the basic version is free. There is a paid for version called Juice Defender Ultimate, which has a lot of extra settings you can use to tweak your phone. Now, what this program does, this Juice Defender program, is it will, when you turn your phone into standby mode by, by, by pressing the power button, it will turn off any um, uh, running background programs, your mobile internet, your Wi Fi. Um, and in some cases it can basically double your battery life so that is another thing you want to look at so that's called Juice Defender the ultimate um, version I think is a couple of quid on, on the Android market but a very good purchase anyway that's my roundup of all these wonderful gadgets and how to save battery on your phone um, I shall be back with some more videos shortly um, hopefully some more retro computing and emulation stuff so thank you for watching and i will see you soon goodbye